So we invented the most advanced holographic computer the world has ever seen. I'm incredibly excited to introduce to you Microsoft HoloLens. This is the first fully untethered holographic computer. HoloLens is real, and this will be available in the Windows 10 timeframe. You guys want to take a look at what's inside? HoloLens has see-through holographic high-definition lenses. This is how we can see holograms right into our world, right into our lives, with more reality than ever before. HoloLens has spatial sound, so we can hear holograms even when they're behind us. It has advanced sensors to capture information about what we're doing and the environments we're in. Now, HoloLens comes with a built-in high-end CPU and GPU. But that wasn't enough. To handle all the processing required to understand the world around us, we had to go beyond the traditional CPU and GPU. So we invented a third processor, a holographic processing unit. The HPU gives us the ability to understand where you're looking to understand your gestures, to understand your voice. It gives us the ability to spatially map the entire world around us and to run without any wires, all while processing terabytes of information from all of these sensors, all in real time. This is everything we need to step into the holographic landscape. All we need to create, all we need to consume, and all we need to share holographic experiences. HoloLens enables holographic computing natively, with no markers, no external cameras, no wires, no phone required, and no connection to a PC needed. We believe Windows 10 will fundamentally make everything people do with computers today more valuable, more immersive, and more personal. Let's listen to what developers that have for years been working on Windows Holographic think about the possibilities. When you think about how you experience technology today, it's like behind this glass screen, and you're kind of stuck. It feels cold. We've unlocked the screen Really what we're trying to do is break down the walls between you know, technology and people. This is the next generation of computing. This, this is the next PC. It's basically a see-through display that you wear, and it lets you see holograms in your world, in your space, all around you. The hologram itself, it is light and it's an imagination incarnate. The ability to draw with your hand or to take an asset, you know, an image and move it or scale it is a very natural way of interacting with it. Here's what you can do with holographic video. Here's what you can do with using your world as a game level. Here's what you can do with taking the power of, of 3D modeling and creation and guess what, pulling it out of a screen into real 3D and then sharing what you've created with others. That was science fiction, and now we're bringing it into science fact. This is by far, far, far the hardest, most complex, most challenging, and most intriguing thing I've ever done in my life. We just recently started engaging with third parties to build applications for the device. And the things they're doing, just, uh, they're humbling. When you've got a thousand different people from all different backgrounds with all different types of experience, 
you're gonna see that the stuff that we've built at the beginning is just a tiny scratching of the surface of you know what this technology can do and what it can mean for people. When the other perspectives come to it and all the creatives out there, it's gonna blow our minds. This is a new medium for artistic expression and a new medium for creation that we've just never had before. This platform is going to truly blend your digital life with your physical life. And it, it is so thrilling. This is truly about seeing the world in a whole different way. As you just saw, holograms are being sculpted by some of the most creative people around. But holograms are not just for creative people. They can unleash the creativity in all of us. Remember the first time you experienced Microsoft Paint or Solitaire? Those timeless experiences let you discover what a mouse and keyboard world felt like. In that same timeless fashion, we wanted you to discover what a holographic landscape feels like. So we created Holo Studio. Holo Studio allows you to create your very own holograms. It allows you to 3D print them and then share them with the world. Are you guys ready to see your very first live holographic experience all running on Windows 10? Please help me welcome on stage my dearest friend, Lorraine. Hi, Lorraine. Hi, Alex. So as Lorraine gets set up, let me walk you a little bit on what you're going to see. I'll point your attention to this screen here behind me, where at first you're going to see through Lorraine's eyes. You're going to see exactly what she's seeing um, in the hologram spin to the world. Then as we start building, we'll swap to this custom camera rig right here so you can easily understand how holograms fit into your world. So let's meet our first holographic um, person, and who better to introduce us to this holographic landscape than our very own Terry Meyerson. <laughs> and look how well in pin Terry is. Now remember, Lorraine is seeing the hologram in space in real time. Shall we play it, Lorraine? Play. Wow. Nice work, Windows 10. I'm a freaking hologram. Welcome to Windows Holographic. Windows knows exactly where Lorraine is looking. And with a simple gesture, Lorraine can launch Holo Studio. With Holo Studio, anyone can create personalized 3D creations in just minutes. For today's creation, Lorraine is going to create our very own customized quadcopter. Now, Lorraine, what kind of custom design for the quadcopter are you thinking about today? Well, I'm sort of a space nut, so I thought I would go with a UFO theme. And I think you'll see I've got this cool ray gun shape I'm going to use in a minute. Ooh, I like it. As Lorraine um, starts building, you notice that everything is as easy as tap, then gaze, then tap again. Now, voice commands are amazing in Holo Studio because HoloLens understands precisely where she's staring at. Glue touching. OK, let's get some color on this, Alex. I think I'll go with a bright yellow. Let's put some of that here and there. Now, as Lorraine finishes building the first leg of the quadcopter, she's going to have to create three more. And notice how easy it is for her to mirror and then copy it. Mirror. OK, I've got two, but I'm going to need four of these, Alex. Let's get it right, oh, right down. There. Good. Glue. That side. Good. Copy. OK, I've got four, but it's oriented wrong. Movement. 
Apollo Studio is an entirely new way to work with 3D content. We call it Build 3D in 3D. Now, this is possible because holograms behave just like real-world objects. OK, I'm going to get a few more pieces that I want for my project. Let's see. Go with this one first. Put that there. I think I'll get this dome piece. And I think I'm going to need a decoration for later. Put that there. OK, it's UFO time. Let's get this right on top. Oh, too low. Resize. Hollow Studio is simple. Yeah, powerful tools make it easy for anyone to create 3D objects in just minutes. OK, let's get that bright yellow again. There we go for this piece. I like where you're going with this, Lorraine. Why don't we show them the magnet tool? OK. Magnet. Let's put it oh, right there. OK, I'll use that tool again to, for my decoration. I think I'm going to want a few of these. Copy. Maybe one over here. Oh, not way over there. Copy. Good. I think one more would look nice. Right. Good. Glue touching. Rotate. What do you think, Alex? I'm getting a good uh, Area 51 vibe. I would totally fly that. Now, holograms are like print preview for 3D printing. Now, wouldn't it be amazing if we could take Lorraine's, Lorraine's creation and turn it into a real quadcopter? So we did. This is a 3D print we made earlier of Lorraine's creation and Lorraine's quadcopter. This was made entirely in Hollow Studio. What do you think, Lorraine? Shall we take it for a spin? Do it. So much fun. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. I hope you enjoyed this glimpse of Hollow Studio, a fast and simple workshop for creating your very own hologram. We've been hiding in plain sight out of all places in the Microsoft Visitor Center. In this top secret space, only a select group of visionaries leading scientists and creators have worked. In that very secret space, we've had the great honor to partner with one of the most innovative organizations in history, an organization that's accustomed to reaching for the stars, an organization that literally takes on moonshots. So let me leave you with a sneak peek at how holographic computing enabled by Windows 10, will fundamentally change how they think about exploration, discovery, and collaboration. Thank you very much. OnSite is a tool that we're building in collaboration with Microsoft to connect scientists and engineers with the environment of the Curiosity Mars rover. Since we can't put our scientists yet physically on Mars, a technology like this allows us to investigate well, what's possible if we can make them virtually present? This was the first time where I could basically do a 360 and see Mars all around me. I love the fact that people, when they first encounter this project, have a feeling of, wow, you know, I've lived to see this. Instead of looking at 2D images, they can now walk around and explore Mars in their office. It was part inspiring and part just like, wow, I can finally do this thing that I really want to do. I could see using this every single day. It is a different way of exploring. That's transformational. Our plan is to deploy on-site to mission operations this summer and to be controlling rovers on Mars with this technology in July.